William the Beast Bibiani is an unbelievable force in the movie trivia Schmodown. He's arguably the most knowledgeable player we have in the league, and his accomplishments stretch far and wide within this game. I'll often see fans splitting competitors up between the people who are good at the trivia and the people that seem to make their mark in the other facets of the Schmodown. Bibbs excels in both of these arenas. He's entertaining in storylines, his creative entrances are unmatched, and he's one of the most feared players in the ring, too. Let's take a look back at the history of the Beast, where he's been, where he is now, and where he'll be in the near future. Being that we always save the best for last on this show, let's start with Bibiani in teams. In mid-2017, William and his pal Whitney Seibold came together to form Critically Acclaimed. Their first match was against Only Stupid Answers, and all the hype around Bibbs' partner quickly made sense. William and Whitney are an interesting team because they seem to be on pretty identical pages most of the time. They have similar strengths, if one of them gets a question right, the other seems to follow, and hey, if you pitched me a teammate and said, oh, he's pretty similar to William Bibiani, I'm sold. They both have incredible film knowledge, and they showed that by TKOing their first opponents. What followed, however, was arguably the biggest upset in the history of the league. Critically acclaimed came into the first round of the team tournament playing 0-1 fan reactors late to the party. First round went to the favorites, second round went to the underdogs, and after a five-pointer in their wheelhouse, late to the party beat these titans of movie trivia. And yes, this was a shocking turn of events, but critically acclaimed wasn't finished. In the following season, they came back in a big way against Team Superhero News, defeating them via TKO. A month later, they faced former title contenders in MODOK, and guess what? Another TKO. So with three TKOs in four matches, this team was destined for greatness, right? Well, the Anarchy Tournament had other ideas. Bibiani was paired up with Matt Nost and manager Emma Fife to form the Cinemaniacs, and this team definitely had the potential to get some results. After some legendary entrances, Matt Nost dancing, and constant bickering between the two partners, their time in Anarchy didn't last too long. The team got a win over Franchise Force, which featured a newcomer in Ethan Irwin, but next round they were knocked out by future tournament winners, who's the boss. This let critically acclaimed pick up where they left off though. Early in 2019, they faced the Harris brothers in a number one contenders match. Bibbs and Whitney continued their streak with yet another TKO. This led them to their first team title shot against the Shire Wolves. This incredible match had a team that's TKO'd four out of their five opponents and the undefeated, undisputed champions of the league. And while critically acclaimed put up a great fight, the Shire Wolves retained, and that is the guy's most recent match together. Now for Bibiani's primary division, singles. We all remember when he debuted in the Schmodown. He faced off against fellow newcomer Mark Andreco, and it's one of the most iconic matches of all time. Both competitors going back and forth, waiting for the other one to miss something, and William Bibiani ended up breaking the singles point record in his debut match. What followed was an absolute roller coaster in 2017. First, we had the newly worshipped, soon to be champion Bibiani facing off against JTE. The second round was abysmal for William, and JTE pulled out the upset. This pattern of comfortable win followed by a last second third round loss became a pattern for Bibbs. Win against Elliot Dewberry, loss against Christian Harloff. Win against Scott Mance, loss against Sam Levine in the 2017 tournament. Unfortunately for Bibbs, after his long awaited return to singles the following season, his losing ways continued against the godfather Drew McQueenie. Bibbs was great at answering questions, but differing point values in that last round made luck a little bit more of a factor, and it was his demise every time. That brings us to 2018's Free For All 2. William, now standing for some reason, was the clear MVP of the event. While he didn't win, his accuracy stats and durability within the free for all gave him a number one contenders match. The Beast faced Jeff Snyder soon after, and this was a blowout. Snyder spun 70s movies, pretty much admitted defeat, and Bibiani walked away with a second round knockout. With the belt vacated by Sam Levine, this match led Bibiani to a championship against the opponent from his famous debut match, Mark Andreco. 
With the two fighting hard, both eager to see gold for the first time, Bibiani walked away champion. While his reign was short-lived, being that he lost to John Roca soon after, Bibiani's single career is looking better than ever as of late. After a TKO win against Lon Harris, Bibiani went back to his main event, the free-for-all. After drawing number one, Bibiani did the unthinkable and went the distance. On stage for hours and hours, he outlasted nearly every competitor, but lost to Dan Merle in sudden death. He earned a second consecutive free-for-all MVP, got his number one contenders match, TKO John Roca, and beat Ethan Irwin to find himself challenging for yet another belt. In a couple of weeks, he'll be facing off against the GOAT, Dan Merle, hoping to become a two-time singles champion. After all this, it's clear how much Bibiani means to the movie trivia showdown. Yes, he's an unbelievable competitor, he's won a belt, he might win another very soon, he has records that will never be broken, and if he's not on Schmodown's Mount Rushmore, he can't be far away, right? I mean, who else is that good at the game, but also so entertaining outside of competition, too? He was a hilarious addition to the quote-unquote horse persons, there's nothing like his classic I betray you line against Roka, and do you see the effort that goes into this man's entrances? This entire video could have solely been about his entrances, and honestly, I would totally watch that. So, win or lose within these next few weeks, it's clear that Bibiani will eventually go down as a legend in the movie trivia showdown. Uh, you guys can leave now. See okay, ya. Thank you. Yeah, you're thank welcome. You, I think that was.